This video shows how to register a COM control uh, so that you may use it in uh, classic uh, desktop applications like uh, Microsoft Access or Excel or Word. So what I have here is a COM control. I have uh, created this in C Sharp and uh, I've got there a DLL file as an output file and I want to register this one now. Now we got there. <coughs> Um, when I want to embed it in this uh, access file, access here, and uh, at the moment it's not visible there, so uh, the file itself is called office something, uh, office email, and as you see, uh, there is the old one. Uh, first, I have to delete this one. Okay. I have just to delete it. <coughs> uh, <laughs> okay, first to unregister. So uh, we have first to go how to how to unregister unreg uh, for this case. Oh, I will show how to register that file. Uh, okay, <coughs> let's show how, how to register and then how to unregister. Um, I want to register this file. For this one, for this uh, problem, we need uh, something from the C sharp uh, C Windows. And as you see there, when I click on there, we get the Windows, uh, the Net Microsoft Net, the Net Framework, somewhere there. Microsoft Net and in the framework there we get the framework and framework 664 uh, I've created that one for the uh, 32 machine so when I push uh, uh, type the uh, backslash uh, button there then we will see uh, this one with uh, with V these ones are the frameworks and now this is for the former frameworks were version 2 and all that other stuff, uh, but now we need a new framework. And in the new framework, uh, we will find here the RecASM. You will see this one here is uh, RecASM. So, so I take this one as the path, I go back to my folder uh, where I was there. And now I create with my right mouse key uh, here a text file, simple text file, and I will call it uh, reg register, and the extension is bat file, and now we go with the context menu to uh, edit, and now we say first the path, and then we say reg awesome so uh, exe this is the registry for com controls with uh, with the new com controls with uh, which have net compo components in there so now we take this uh, we need this file as uh, to be registered now we take the path of this one and take this one and now we say com test dll and now the point is to say uh, create a TLB. So this is uh, the connection, uh, the interface between the com commands so that they are visible on uh, on Access or Excel or in, or in Word. And then we need a code base. If the file is signed and I signed it, uh, then we need we. It's good to have a code base. It's not not the most important stuff and when we type this one we uh, uh, first I do it this way straight it's a simple way uh, we save that point and uh, when we close it and now when we run it uh, when I open it double click then uh, let's go in there again and make a pause command there now you will see when we run it 
you will see uh, access warning. You have to be it's written in German. Uh, you ha you need the there to be something in code base and si and something else. But you need the admi administrator rights. So go with the right context key, key there and take the S administrator. Now a system will do that point. Um, it will register that stuff and create a TLB. Now you see there's a they it created a TLB file. Now when I go there and go to my access and go there to uh, references, then I will find. I'm not sure now if it's called com there or the internal name was. Um, office, office something else. Here it is, and when you click there, we will see that's that's the path of uh, my folder, and there the TLB file. So I would take there the TLB from this path. No, not this one. Uh, another path. Desktop, demo, demo, and. We take access records and here the TLB file. And inside the file it's called Office Email Send 3. So this is the class which was internally de de declared. Yeah. And now I save it. That's the stuff what you see there. It's a test and something else. Okay. Oh, okay, but that's not uh, you're always only registering. Now when I want to start it, uh, now when I go back to my code there and my uh, debug and compiling, everything seems to work. And you will also see that it's uh, your it's, uh, IntelliSense enabled. So when I start now, there comes an error which says, okay, uh, an error remote name could not be uh, filed, found. Uh, Okay, this is uh, not the error what I expected, but uh, the uh, most important <coughs> important stuff what I wanted to show you is that in this case it worked, but you have to take there here um, this apostrophes, otherwise <coughs> the file will get a further error. So take this apostrophes and the code base, otherwise it would not work. If there's an empty space, for example, uh, then system thinks there's an uh, there is an error, uh, an a parameter. Uh, so I save that again, and now I take this. That's the wrong one. And now to unregister, well if I want to unregister this file, then I go there and say. Um, Unregister, unregister, but, and then we say here uh, front slash unregister, and we don't need this and unregistering. Save it, run it as administrator. So system says the registration uh, is deleted. So when you when you do that point, uh, make the right uh, registration in here with the uh, apostrophes um, and with code base. Possibly with code base and TLB means uh, it creates this TLB file. So you don't have to uh, take this uh, run that stuff in your um, in your system. So when I run this again as administrator. The file is registered, and it says, "Okay, you need uh, to have. It's the best to have strong names, which means uh, small uh, capital letters, and uh, I don't know what's the real or what's. Uh, it, it needs unique, unique uh, GUIs and all that stuff. So that's it. And now, when I go to my application again, go there and test it." go there um, and then I will si fi find it's able to compile and here in my file I will fi find that it's there and uh, you have to see that it's uh, with those underscores uh, that's the right one 
um, <coughs> and this will work, debug. And now uh, system will create an error when I run it because uh, I didn't. That's an error. That's a why is it the email debug? Just do it like this, this, and then do nothing else. So now it will run, and then system is done. Okay. So this was how to register and unregister uh, that stuff. And I had that code in my uh, code docu here in my com controls. There was also the runtime error, what happens uh, that when you don't, ha when you have this without those uh, parentheses or uh, oh those, those uh, small little uh, letters. <coughs> 